Well, Apple hit a historic sales feat in part thanks to the popularity of certain products helping the company reach the record high over the holidays. For more, let's bring in business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton. Tyler, good morning to you. So what's behind Apple's surge in sales? You know what? Maybe the simplest answer is iPhones. Apple is reporting that they now have 1.65 billion devices activated after the last quarter. And that, of course, includes Macs and iPads. But it's really the new iPhone iteration that is pushing sales to a record $111 billion U.S. during the quarter that ended over in December. That's up 21% from the same period a year ago. And it actually means that Apple is topping the $100 billion mark for the first time in a single quarter. But shares were a little bit muted in response to all of this. The reason why is because Apple did not actually provide a sales forecast for the next quarter. They're still very wary about the impacts of COVID-19 on the consumer market. So we'll just take a wait and see approach for the next quarter. All right. In the meantime, let's shift gears now to the latest on a home genetic testing company set to go public in a multi-billion dollar deal. What's the latest on that? Well, it looks as if 23andMe is in talks with Richard Branson's VG Acquisition Corporation in this $4 billion deal. That's according to a report from Bloomberg. Now, consider this. It's been less than three years since 23andMe was valued at $2.5 billion. That's a huge surge in valuation in just a short period of time. And honestly, the pandemic has renewed interest in a lot of these biotech companies, even the ones not directly addressing COVID-19. And we saw last month with the blockbuster IPO from Vancouver's own Abcelera, which resulted in a market capitalization of $12.6 billion for that Canadian company, which is in fact addressing COVID-19. I suspect this isn't going to be the last biotech company that we see a big IPO from this year. All right. Business in Vancouver's Tyler Orton joining us this morning. Tyler, thanks so much for bringing us up to speed. Thank you. You too.